G'day viewers. What's going on guys? Lawn Lads here. Welcome back to another episode. This week we're going to be um, showing you our winter prep. So this is week two, last week's episode. If you were uh, watching, we went to Lawn Addicts, bought all the products that we need um, for our winter prep. Today is our first stage of that. So we're going to show you giving this um, front kayaker a cut with the unicorn that's just behind us over there and then our products that we're going to be using and we're going to be explaining those products um, as we put it down as well. Stick around. So you would have just seen James mowing this lawn, it's looking awesome, it's looking really good. Now is uh, time for some furt, so we're going with uh, some special two-spec complex in our Bunnings tub. And James is opting for the handheld spreader today, it's nice and easy. My favourite, I love it. It's perfect for a lawn this size, like 80 square metres. I reckon the handhelds are the way to go. Um, I reckon those other push ones are a bit annoying sometimes. They get towards the end and you're trying to shake it about and you get it all over your concrete and I think it's just more accurate for these. So, my weapon of choice. We can't stress this enough. If you've got a mate that, or a couple of mates even, if you've got smaller yards, like obviously James has more yard than I do, um, but you know, some of these products can get pricey if you can go halves or whatever it is save yourself some money go to bunnings do what we did we went halves in this pack of this 20 kilo bag of complex go to bunnings get a tub thanks for the noise in the background and then just go harvey's in it so that's what we did we went harvey's in a five liter bottle of uh, umx harvey's in the barricade and harvey's in this um 20 kilo bag of complex so Use your friends. The difference between Complex and Endurance, they're pretty much nearly the same product, but the prill size is the difference. So if you look at that prill size there, it's very fine, which is gonna obviously benefit us with our shortcut kayak. It's really gonna drop between those little paws there and, and drop it to the canopy, which is what we want. So we don't really want it sitting on top of the leaf, we want it to drop it, so it's gonna be perfect. So let's get into it. Give us a drum beat. They seal really good these containers too, by the way. Really good. The rate we're applying today is two and a half kilos per hundred square meters. That's a recommended rate that two spec uh, say to put down. Um, we're going to be putting down two kilos because we've got 80 square meters. Um, so yeah, let's get into it.
<laughs> Cover you in <laughs> turtle water. So that's a little bit. Yeah, so that drops in pretty nicely. Like you get the odd ones that sit on top, but they just fall in. All right, it's all gone. How good's that? Don't have to worry about your dog or kids eating it. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> that was way too much. <laughs> you just gotta love like an awkward shape in my yard. It's a pain to fertilize. <laughs> Eat the chooks, mate. <laughs> Half that went to the tree. <laughs> You're a wog, aren't you? Yeah, I got that little flick. <laughs> oh shit, this flick. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, so we've obviously chucked down the two spec complex. Um, you really do want to make sure that you do the right process in this step and you want to make sure that you put it in your granular fert before you're spraying because the last thing you want to do is hit your lawn for granular fert when it's wet and then you burn your leaf. So yeah, do make sure you follow this step and make sure you do granular first and then do your liquids last and then water it in straight away. All right, so today what we're going to be using, Hydrolink Advance, obviously a fantastic soil wetter. Uh, we've covered this product quite a lot on our channel so far uh, and we did cover it in last week's video. Um, so yeah, this is obviously very important to, probably one of the most important products to getting a healthy lawn because it does get that water to that root zone. So yeah, do obviously invest in this if you haven't got it as of yet. Second product would be UMX liquid. Like I said, that's just a, a humic and folic acid which um, helps uptake nutrients. Uh, so that's really going to help with our granular fertilizer we're putting down today. Plus it's also going to help with the Calpro Cope and the Phosphide that we're putting down as well. It's going to help store those um, those um, vitamins and minerals and whatever we're putting into the soil in the root and when it's ready to use it will help uptake it so crucial to um, once again having a healthy lawn. The next product is Calpro so that's just liquid kelp we've obviously covered that in past videos before as well um, so we'll be using that today as well. Um, Cope which is just pretty much potassium um, it's going to really go well with the, uh, potassium, the high potassium in our granular fruit so we're really, like I said in last week's video, we really want to start preparing that lawn for the dorm, winter dormancy and we want to strengthen that lawn. So potassium is the key for that. So potassium, potassium, potassium. We're going to say it a lot in our uh, winter prep series. So get used to it. All right, and then obviously the last product we'll be applying today is Phosphider. Um, this is obviously high in potassium and phosphorus and very crucial for uh, preparing the lawn uh, for winter. Um, so these products, like I said, are very much aimed at winter prep and getting the lawn as strong as possible to fight um, fight through winter and get it coming out of winter as best as possible. So that's what we're focusing on now. Um, we're really focusing on preparing the lawn. We're not focusing on making it look as, as great as possible and, and pumping nitrogen in it. That's the total opposite to what we're going to do now. We want to prepare it for, for winter. So these products are really going to help that. Um, we're gonna get it ready, so let's get into it, guys. That's how I agitate it. Give it a bit of a shake. It's a really good idea with your permanent marker lining up the numbers. I missed one of them. <laughs> of course, you did. Where'd you get and that idea the, from? And that is actually the mark that I need eight liters. Where'd you get that idea from, huh? Oh, it was just me, the genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm the brains of this operation. Oh, look at that sticker. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> you're, right, you're not supposed to stop. I'm going back now. Come oh, on. sorry, sorry. I'll get out of your way. Tell us a funny joke while you spray. You put me on the spot here, man. That's the whole point. <laughs> I'm trying to not, I'm trying to concentrate. Just leave me alone. I'm 
I'm, I'm waiting for a joke. I'm just gonna follow you around until you give me a joke. Oh, you. I'm trying to concentrate. Oh, it's not rocket science, mate. Uh, you, you're spraying some liquid. Got to make sure you heat on the cover of the wall. Oh, let's turn it up. You missed the spot. Aren't they your weed killer boots? <laughs> you caught me out there. Mate, <laughs> hey, it's quite cute. It loves a bit of weed. Killer. It's like a fertilizer. <laughs> Just makes it stronger. Yeah. Believe it or not, guys, guess what my special third is? Glyphosate. <laughs> That's why the cock's doing so well. <laughs> try it. No, don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it first. Don't try it. <laughs> and is this uh, north, south first, east, west? What are we doing? Does it matter? Uh, so I will go. <laughs> I will crisscross in the opposite direction. Oh. So it's just that spot there. And... But the first coach will go down north south? I'm trying to concentrate here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing track of where I'm playing. <laughs> this is the worst spot of my lawn, man. Look at that. It's just like struggling in that one spot. In. It's, it's starting to look like my backyard. Yeah? Yeah. What thing? No, that's my head. <laughs> Waiting for that one. I was actually going to pull that joke in. That was going to be my joke. Thin and patchy. <laughs> Alright, go again. Alright guys, so one last thing to do. Get some water down. So, key, probably you want to be doing between three and six mils. So, for, for me on my zone, I'm probably going to put a 20 minutes per zone. And that's pretty safe. It's going to be between three and six mils. Because um, you want to get that, um, obviously that uh, granular fert watered in and get it start to, starting to work and you want to get those liquid products soil drenched into the soil. So, let's hit uh, driveway zone. Uh, manual watering. We'll go to 20 minutes. Actually, we'll go a little bit longer because this zone doesn't cover as well as this zone. So, we'll go 22 minutes. There you go. That's it for this week's video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. This is obviously week one of our winter prep series. So week two will take you into the next product we'll be applying um, on Michael's lawn. So um, we'll do like a week to week between my lawn and Michael's. So um, you get to see both and get regular updates of both and get to get a, see a bit of stripes and mowing in there as well. So um, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, please like, subscribe. Um, we really appreciate it, guys. We're nearly at 500 subs now. Um, we're absolutely stoked with that. That's that's great in, mm -hmm. I reckon, what is it, two months, two and a half months? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah. We're, we're pretty happy with that, guys. But we couldn't we couldn't ask for any more. Like, the support's been fantastic. Yeah, we really appreciate it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers, lads. James, we're not done. I've got a surprise for you. Be right back. So I've got a, a surprise for James. He's getting married in uh, just under, like about three weeks now. And by the yeah. way guys, we're going to have a mad video of mowing the lawn in our <laughs> wedding suits. <laughs> so I happen to be the best man as well, so um, through our contacts that we have, I've organised something for James and it literally came in the mail today so we're just gonna get his, to know what it is, get his reaction of him opening what this is. Packaging might give something away. I'm not looking at the packaging. No. Uh, it is what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I he kinda gave it away in the message. He did, he ruined it he last did, night I did. saw it, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I messaged him straight away too. What did he say? I said we share the same Instagram account, don't say anything. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, did your package come yet? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, stickers? He's like, yeah, stickers. And I'm like, yeah, oh, Ruined yeah. It. Look at that. That's a nice knob you got there. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Oh, I was just talking about this the other day, wasn't I? Yep. I already had it planned too. Look at that. Nice coaster. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it, Mick. And thanks, Unreal Knobs, man. Look, look at that. Follow him on Instagram. We'll put it down below. So he does coasters. Obviously, you can customize logos. That is sick. So he's done that for us. That is wicked. Show, show us the knob again. Look. It's a bit slippery. Slippery knob. <laughs> <laughs> look, come out real good, hey? I got one too. Should we chuck this on the unicorn? Yeah, might as well. Okay. Let's go. You ready to go? Yep. So this is how you install an Unreal knob, too. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just tighten her up. That's it. Heck is that? Look at that. Thanks, mate. Nice. Legend. Glad you like it. No, I appreciate it. That's cool.